O T S Gang Gang. All right, next up. Next up. <laughs> Spoke about him already. I don't know if that video is out yet, but Mr. Rhea, the brother with the hair. There he is. Look at him. Little chub chubs. He's chubby. Look. I even look like him. That does not look like Rhea, does it? I'm assuming this is him because it's about Rhea. And look, hold on a minute. Let's see if other photos will upload. They're taking their time. But look, that's look, got his whole name. <laughs> Ray Martin back there, blood. Yeah, that's him. You get me? Look, couple bits, couple bits, couple bits. Look, that does not look like the same brother. Does it? It don't look like the same guy at all. Now that I'm even looking at it. But I just wanted to quickly fly through this and see what I'll go on with it. You know what I mean? We're going, to, we're going to learn a little bit about our number one, because he is our number one, huh? You get me? Based in Merseyside, although the locals prefer to say Lancaster, Southport is surrounded by clubs that are high, that are higher up in the football pyramid with Liverpool, Manchester City, Man United, Everton, Burnley, Preston North End, Blackburn Rovers, are, and Blackburn Rovers are all within an hour's drive, so it might seem like an unlikely stop on David's route to the European glory. But as recent National League's North results has proven, with a couple of decent centre-halves coming in on loan and keeping four clean sheets, it shows the difference that you can make at this level if you bring one or two players in that are just at that little bit better from a higher level. That's according to Rob Irwin. <coughs> Rob Urin. You're in? You're in? <laughs> I don't want to say the man's name is Pierce, but you know, head of media at Southport who record David's arrival on loan from Black from Blackburn back in 2014. He did rather well, didn't he? Rob said, commenting on David's saves against Porto. We still follow him ever since he was with us. He was only with us for 24 games, but he made a great impression. So we still follow him every step of the way. It's good to see. He was on loan from Blackburn and he was only very young. I'll be honest. He had a bit of, what's that word? Don't know what that word is. In a suspicious, in, in a, I don't know what that is, but. He had a funky start. He was he was in a free he was in a free nil defeat to Macclesfield for his debut, and we thought, oh my goodness, and we thought, oh my goodness, he didn't look as though he was going to do anything. But he settled in. He was young. He was a young kid, and he was absolutely brilliant. The thing that put him at the top of everyone's list was that we went on to we went on a really good cup run. He came He came in and that's what people remember. They don't remember the league games. He didn't start too brilliantly, but because we had five, but because he had five, he had five against him, then three against him. But once he settled down, he got used to it. The cup run started with an away tie at Dagenham who were in the football league at the time and he had a clean sheet, a nil-nil draw. It's from then on that he went on to have a fantastic run and absolutely brilliant and was absolutely brilliant. He made his name against Derby County. We had a third round FA Cup tie there and that's where he came to his prominence. He was so well thought of by everyone at the end of it because of his performance in the FA Cup. January the 3rd, 2015 was the date of the the aforementioned FA Cup tie around... Uh, what? The FA Cup third round tie at Pride Park where Raya produced an incredible incredible performance only for um Southport to be eliminated by Chris Martin's penalty in the 93rd minute damn had Southport secured a draw and a third round replay at home Raya's parent club Blackburn had joked that he wouldn't be <laughs> eligible to play as his loan was coming to an end it was it was really funny they were only they were only teasing us Rob said that game at Derby he sought for he sort of propelled there you go he sort of propelled himself to the top it was seen on tv and he must have made eight or nine brilliant saves and he also saved the penalty he <clears throat> he had a tear in his eyes everyone was applauding him because he had a hurried he had a hero heroic game god damn it he had a heroic game and it was on match of the day at night it was on match of the day at night and they were singing his praises the one game 
at Derby where everyone saw him, where everyone saw him nationally was the one that launched him. You don't always pro, you don't always remember players that only played 24 games, but he certainly stands out in our memory. I don't know why the pictures ain't loading up on the right-hand side. Of course, David has come a long way in the past nine years or so, becoming Brentford's number one for the promotion from the championship to the Premier League and being... And being... Uh, these words, man, have been pivotal. There you go. Sorry, man. It's just, just what it is. Yeah, I mean, I ain't going to say dyslexic because I haven't been... <laughs> What's the word? See what I'm saying? <laughs> a doctor hasn't told me that. Let me just say that. You know what I mean? So, is what it is. Um, yes, and being pivotal to us having the best defence in the top flight this season. But he remains humble, never forgetting where he's come from. He was a quiet... He's He was quiet. He was quiet. A quiet lad. He was quiet. A quiet lad. Very modest, Rob recalls. If you read the interviews, he's always says that it was his time at Southport that sent him up as a football, that sent him up as a footballer because he realised you have to do everything for yourself. It's not like in the Premier League where the players have everything done for them. Here, you have to take your own kit, get your shorts and everything. It's very different. He's very humble about it and says that it was that time that made him realise that he needs to that he need that he need to fight to get to the top and obviously he's done that blackburn weren't playing weren't playing him before he came to us but once he'd been with us he'd done such a good job that afterwards they started playing him regularly from then on he went on to brentford and the rest is history it's been so great to follow arsenal fans have become Accustomed to Davies' distribution capabilities this season, get me. Kami playing out from the back under pressure with plenty of um, precision, but it's typically not a technique that goes down well in the lower levels of the football pyramid. Why? That's very weird. And sometimes he's cool. Sometimes he's too cool, like that that pass that he did against Tot- was it against Tottenham? It was against someone where he just tried to dink it over and it just went went left. Not good. He does seem to be able to get on the ball very quickly and see other players running. But at our level, I don't think that's always a good thing because they don't always do what they're supposed to do with it. Rob said it was hard for him because he'd come from Blackburn down to the conference and it's a massive difference. When I watch a Premier League football and I see you all passing around, passing around the back and passing around the back and I'm cringing because if I started doing that they'd just get clubbered somebody would kick someone who would kick them in the air (laughs) they wouldn't do it again it was a bit of a slow start but once he was once he got going he once he got going, he was fantastic and everyone loved him. That's why we made him an honorary member of our supporters trust because not many not many get that accolade. After he left us, my wife, who is the club photographer, and I went to see him and give him his trust his trust certificate. So we went to Blackburn Training Ground and he was so humble. A lovely, lovely lad. You couldn't have asked for more. He liked to play he liked he liked to play he liked to play around the back. But he liked to play it around the back, but I think the manager at the time would have tried to get that out of him at our level. Um, Southport's level, the National National League North, is one where all 24 clubs will be looking to maximise the potential of non-league of of not of non-league day, which takes place on Saturday, March the 23rd, and can coincide with the international break to allow fans to show support to their local non-league sides. On average attendance, it's about 900 or 1,000. But if we're going well and get a good cup run like the Derby, like, like at Derby that day, there are two, there are up to 2,500 people there and we've never taken that many to an away game in all of our lives, Rob explains. It was fantastic. People try to say that we're... There's, people try to say we're, we're sleeping giants. We're not. We were in the Football League back in 1970s. We're actually the last team to be... We're the, what? We're actually the last team to be not re-elected under the old system. So it's now 45 seasons in non-league football. The actual town cries out for good football team. It's very up and down. But if we get a cup run, we always know the support is there. There are people like myself who have been watching 
there are people like myself who have been watching watching them since 1971 72 season and love every bit of it but there are very few of us around left that are that keen um after more than 50 years following southport david ray signed frame shirts in among let's just get this right after more than 50 years following southport David Raya's signed frame shirt is among the select few that take pride in my place on Rob's office wall. Our previous manager, Liam Watson, he had a testimony on that and it was donated to him. He said, I'm really good friends with Liam and he knew my and he knew my wife and I thought so highly of David. So he said he'd give us he'd give it to us rather than put it in an auction, which is really nice. It sat here proudly, almost as proud as Rob as Rob is of Southport, former shot stopper, representing his non-league roots on the biggest stage in world football. Ah, Mr. Rea. It's good to know, man. Good to know. He's a good guy. Good people. Humble. You need that. You need that, especially from rich people. When you got all of that, when all eyes are on you, camera lights, action, you need to be humble. I know there's some people, like, why? Why do I need to be humble? Because you ain't going to be up forever You know what I'm saying You have to remember You are the minority When you're living good When you're living good, good You know what I'm saying As many as footballers as there are They are the minority And quick, fast The rest of the world will tear you down No matter who you are What you do You know what I'm saying The higher you go up there Be humble Because you're going to have to come back down There's no one up Nobody No one that stays there Nobody, nobody, nobody ever stays up there. Think of any great that you can think of. Their career, their CV, their work can stay up there. They themselves do not stay up there. You get me? Since we're talking football, Pele, Maradona, anybody, Bergkamp, anybody. Kreft, it's their work that stays up there. But the person, the human being gets brought down to earth real quick, real quick. You know what I'm saying? And if they don't get more time, if they don't literally get pulled down to earth, they cruise control back down to normal. And then, you know, they go retire, go have normal life, normal life, because cameras following you around isn't normal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you pop up, someone might go, oh my God, like there's such and such, but it's no crowd running. You know what I mean? You're not causing a stampede. You can literally go walk about. Most ex-players, and I don't mean the last ones. It'll be like a few before, like I.E., Burke Camp and them man there. Them man can go shopping, bruv. Maybe not in, in Holland, but he can come to England and, and walk. He ain't going to get stampeded where Saka can't go walking. You know what I mean? Rice can't go walking. You know what I mean? Beth Mead and them, the girlie them, they could probably, you know what I mean, sneak here and there. But if they're around the lights and the lights and the cameras, they'll be known. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like that. There's just certain people. You know what I mean? It just depend on what you did. You know what I mean? You could have been famous for a second and you could be taking train. It's nothing. You know what I mean? I see Keanu Reeves taking train. Sometimes the world don't pay attention. It ain't what you think. You know what I'm saying? And even though like he could go somewhere and get mobbed, but it would have to be like a movie night type shit. You ain't going to just get mobbed because you're going to shop. You ain't that guy. That's why you can be normal. You know what I'm saying? You can be normal if you wanted to be. But, you know, some of them like to try and live in the bubble of Hollywood. But you don't, you could go go for a walk. Everyone don't know you. You know what I'm saying? You're not Snoop Dogg. You know what I mean? You're not Beyonce. Jay-Z could go for a walk in London. I'm telling you. You could go for a walk in London. Just put your hat on and go, bruv. Ain't, ain't no one going to say nothing. You might see someone go. Beyonce cannot go for a walk. See what I'm saying? You can't go for a walk with the missus because she's got too much going on. You know what I mean? It's just levels to the game. Michael Jackson, from the age of five, can't go for a walk. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. You get me? But is what it is man big up rare good to know you know what i'm saying it's good to know about these things that's what i'm saying even see even me gotta learn they ain't no gooner don't care what age they are they don't know 
ever a thing. No one knows ever a thing. Even an a Arsenal historian doesn't know ever a thing. You can't know everything. It's impossible. So anyone that tells you that, just say, okay, cool. And don't bother. Don't try to test them. Allow it, because they've already showed you their ass. I know everything about... No, you don't. You don't. You get me? If I ask you what... When was Lehman when was Lehman born? You probably wouldn't know. What's Lehman's favorite color? You probably wouldn't know. Where did Dave and Seaman come from? You probably wouldn't know. You know what I'm saying? You probably wouldn't know. And it's not that means that you're in a gooner because you don't know. You have to find out stuff. You get me? It is what it is. But salute to Raya, man. Mr. Humble right there. Don't mean I think we should we should get rid of Rambo, but it is what it is, and it? it is what it is. So yeah. What can I say? Like and subscribe, people. Like and goddamn subscribe. Greener on the sofa, the pride of North London. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.